Užina, malo o umjetnosti u novim medijima, iskustvima kustosa i mjestu te umjetnosti u odnosu na tradicionalne institucije. My background is, um, academically speaking, I studied literature, anthropology and art history. I am a freelance curator now and I started maybe beginning of the 90s with uh, a first art association where my colleagues and I were organizing exhibitions of contemporary art but in public sight. That was our specific task. And then I um, developed more and more experience with organizing exhibition within an institutional frame. And until then, the end of mid-90s, late-90s, I started to work specifically um, for new media art. To make a long story short, um, the former director who was new within the title of director of the Museum of Applied Arts, I mean, that's the context it was. It wasn't the Museum of Modern Art, but of Applied Arts in Frankfurt, had a vision that, in fact, museums should um, make a step into the digital future, pre present and future. So he started to recruit myself and other people to start a new department as a permanent department of the museum, um, just devoted to aspects and phenomena of digital culture. So the scope wasn't defined just as mere digital art, but let's say digital culture as a broader perspective. We started to develop a program called summary, Summarized Digital Craft, which reflected everything that we would do within that institutional framework, which means we built up a collection of digital objects for permanent archiving. Um, we started to develop also a program for young people and adults educational programs, and we, um, did a, we developed a program of temporary exhibitions. We started late 1999, and we started everything from zero, and the end of the whole project was, let's, lay, let's say, late 2003. And actually, because of your question, why did it uh, sort of like end, it's, in this case specifically, it was a good occasion that digital craft um, represented, sort of say, to say, a trend within the European or international even institutionalized um, setting, where the importance given by institutions to media issues, not even only media art, but media issues, is very re irrelevant. So thanks to the engagement of one person, explicitly that former director, that department could be installed. Once he was removed from that charge, the whole department was closed again. I think that is a very symptomatic way institutions nowadays at least treat media issues or media culture issues. There is no, I, in my experience, there is no such thing as a general cause. I would say pff, it's always due to individuals making decisions. I mean, when we at least start a digital craft in, in, in that setting of that museum, specific museum, we have to consider that it was end of the 90s. So there were, we were in full dot-com economy boom, ending it, more or less, we were right before the crash. So you might expect that that sort of economical boost might have or also sensibilized, created a sensibility for these sort of like cultural outputs. Surprisingly, it didn't. So except some individual projects worldwide, especially in America, because they are much more aware of these economical um, phenomena, I would say that in Europe um, it's just a matter of who is taking decisions, who is, who is decision maker, and um, if they already have the skills to evaluate um, the relevancy or the importance of such, of such projects. On a political scale, Euro Europe, for example, recognized very early that sort of importance. Therefore, al already in late 80s, um, the European Commission um, uh, funded lots of projects exactly with that background of digital culture. Generally speaking, I wouldn't say that yet digital culture has made it to be an established part of institutions. There's always the exceptions and especially in peripheric areas. England, for example, is quite strong in digital culture issues. And not that much London. Former industrial areas now started to recognize, not now, since a while, the importance of re, 
um, giving a new value to their formerly industrial areas, now economically dead, through media art and media economy.